Good one. Ooh. I'm wishing on a postcard. There we go, raining on the rock. Oh, it's a beautiful song. I've heard that name. Yes. John Williamson. Boy, our audio guys, Craig's on top of it this morning. Thank you for that, Craig. <laughs> Look, in just a few weeks' time, uh, the Twilight Saga comes to its climax and its conclusion with the final instalment in the franchise, which has put Stephanie Meyer's characters at the forefront of pop culture around the world. Robert Pattinson is here in Australia on promo duties, gearing up for the grand finale. I spoke to him yesterday. Welcome back to Australia, Rob. You are on friendly soil here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, listen, this has been an incredible journey for you. I mean, the first film was relatively low budget, but the, the whole Twilight franchise has just exploded as you've been making the thing. It doesn't seem like you've been on a, I don't know, a massive, a massive wave all through the whole process. Yeah. It has. Try, try not to drown for four years. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of totally out of control wave. Um, but yeah, it's been fun though. It's very, very strange uh, thinking that this is, this is the last time I'm ever going to be promoting these movies by myself, for one thing. Which is very, very strange. I feel like I'm coming to a new chapter of my life. I was born to be a vampire. It's so beautiful. We're in the same temperature now. I didn't expect you to seem so... You? Did you know it was going to be this big? No way. I mean, we didn't even... I know that the studio didn't even have the rights to the second and the third book at the beginning. And so that was how little we <laughs> knew about it. Um, no one believes me, but I mean, I couldn't even find the books when I first, when I first Incredible. signed on. You know what you are? See it out loud. Well. Vampire. Are you afraid? No. How's your life changed since you first played Edward Cullen? It got a lot smaller in a funny sort of way. I mean, I've done a lot more traveling, but, and I've seen a lot more uh, hotel rooms. But, uh... You kind of, I don't know, it kind of gradually, you get a little warier of people and you have to, I don't know, I'm slightly coming out of my shell a little bit as I get a little bit older. You just kind of, your skin gets a little thicker. But it's, it's intense for, um, you know, when you've got a lot of scrutiny and stuff, it's kind of crazy. Of course, just three months ago, Rob's world was turned upside down when his girlfriend and co-star, Kristen Stewart, admitted to an affair with her Snow White and the Huntsman director, Rupert Sanders. After her public apology, it would appear she and Rob have rekindled their romance, but such talk was strictly off limits. How hard is it to keep your private life private? It's pretty hard, because, like, there's... The, for one thing, there's a lot of people who want to try and make money off it, and that's the biggest incentive of anything. And also just the laws which stop people from doing it are just almost non-existent. So, like, it's kind of, it's difficult. You're fighting against huge media conglomerates uh, as an individual, and it's, it's really difficult. I mean, uh, especially if you're, you know, a relatively shy person. <laughs> it's quite difficult. I have to report a crime. The Collins, they've done something terrible. It's my daughter. Told her I think Renesmee is an immortal child. She was born, not bitten. She grows every single day. What's the takeout from the Twilight Saga? I mean, is there a moral to the story, or is it just a story? I'm not sure. I mean, it's quite... Um, Love will win, or something, kind uh, Yeah, I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a kind of... It's, uh, I think uh, the basic core of it is that, yeah, you kind of... Yeah, try and be be nice to each other. <laughs> what is it, Alice? The Volturi. They're coming for us. If enough people knew the truth, maybe we could convince the Volturi to listen. My family's in danger. I need your help. We'll join you. We will stand with you. A lot of red eyes around here. You finished making the films. This is your final publicity blitz, as you said. Mm. Your Twilight journey is nearly complete, although, of course, it'll live on. Are you going to miss it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's going to be incredibly strange not doing it anymore. Even though it feels like, even this one feels like it's a, it was a very long time ago when we shot it. It's just kind of bizarre talking about it now. I mean, I'm, trying, I'm mixing up both the movies. <laughs> the last ones. Yeah, no, when, I, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like when the, when the last premieres happen in a few weeks. It's scary. <laughs> I'll never let anybody hurt you.
Yeah, very likable chap, uh, Robert Pattinson, attended the, uh, the big Twilight event yesterday. Surprisingly chilled uh, in the eye of that media storm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Breaking Dawn Part 2 hit cinemas November the 15th, and those midnight screenings are selling like hotcakes, I've got to say. How's yeah. everything on the home front, Dickie, did you ask? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, he wasn't keen to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't keen to discuss that, that, that particular area of no, water. No, that's funny. That that's funny. what you do, because when you meet someone, you say, look, how's everything at home? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not in a situation. There would have been 15 PR terms. people who would have uh, defended. You've got to ask. Well, I did, when I walked, I said, g'day, good, good to see you. How, how, how things are things? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good morning to him, too. Yeah, yeah, nice, no, to see yeah. nice young fella. Yeah, nice yeah. young fella. Good, good young actor, and, and I, I wish them all the best. I reckon they're a nice couple. You know, they're, in the, they're young, 22. But you make right. mistakes. Stuff young, happens. Young, exactly. talented, rich, exactly. successful. Yeah, they got it all. Yeah. Good on them. I actually bad. don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dickie.